We're here today to introduce Roundnet's new 18x18 Econo flash dryer. Now what's different about this flash dryer? First of all, the size, 18x18 inch versus the standard flash size, which is 16x16 inch. This gives you eight extra square inches of room to flash. It's a big deal, especially when you're doing larger designs and when you take into consideration that because of the heat dissipation around the edge of the flash, you don't all the way go to the edge of the flash anyway. The 18x18 Econo flash is manufactured by BBC Industries and incorporates a high quality 18x18 inch infrared heat panel. Now, infrared heat panel gives us consistent heat versus cheaper and lower quality coil units on the market today. The most unique thing about this flash dryer is the fact that it can plug into a standard wall outlet, meaning 15 amps of power. Most 18 by 18 inch flashes on the market today require a 20 amp circuit and a 20 amp plug. As you can see here, a 20 amp plug is not your standard plug. This requires some more wiring, a different outlet, and some people don't even have 20 amps of power in their house, especially if you're using this in a small house or studio. Now let me reiterate, because it's a pretty big deal. This flash is the only 18 by 18 inch flash dryer on the market that legally plugs into a standard 15 amp wall outlet. Now let's take a look at the curing and flashing properties of this flash dryer to see how effectively it cures. We're gonna do our test print with a white ink on a black shirt on a 110 mesh screen. Do one print. And now we'll do our flash cure. Time how long this takes to cure. Now this is a larger print as well. I can step around here and spot gun it. Our ink should be reaching in the 260, 270 range for a flash here. That took about seven to nine seconds. Let's test the ink with our finger to make sure it's clean and we have perfectly flashed tacky, but not fully cured ink. Now we'll do another print on top of that. And then we'll do our final cure. Nice bright white ink using the round at white ink. Now if you're flash curing using if you're doing your final cure using a flash cure unit, I recommend taking the shirt off the palette like I just did, or at least ripping it off the palette, loosening it from the adhesive. If it stays stuck to the palette, you're gonna have a hard time curing your shirt. Let's rotate that underneath the palette. And we'll see what how long it takes to reach final cure temp of 20, 25, I mean 320, 325 degrees. Right now this, this flash is about two and a half inches from the palette surface. My ink on the center is already reached temp. On the edges, very close. There I have edge temp as well. That took about 25 seconds to do our final cure. Pretty quick considering we're just curing a flash dryer. Let's do a stretch test on the edges here to ensure that we're cured all the way. So we're gonna slightly stretch the ink, make sure it doesn't crack. And we're cured. This is the perfect solution for the small screen printer that doesn't have access to 20 amp power, doesn't want to mess with extra wiring in a house or a studio, but needs a little bit larger flash dryer for larger prints. Check out this flash dryer on silkscreensupplies.com and see how you can add it to your business today.